Assalamu alaikum everyone. Now, if you were interested in physics, you would have heard about two, these two words, mass and weight. Now, many people use mass and weight almost synonymously. For example, you weigh 80 kilogram. This book weighs some amount of grams. This bag weighs one kilogram. He's lifting a dumbbell that weighs 10 kilogram. All of these are units of mass, but we are implying that it weighs something. That means it has weight. But is mass and weight the same thing? Well, the answer would be no. Mass is a scalar, which by simple definition is the amount of matter that's in an object. However, weight is a force that is exerted upon an object by virtue of its gravitational field. This means that weight is a force, which is a vector, whereas mass is a scalar. However, what this definition gives us is that weight is related to gravity. However, weight is also related to mass. Weight is proportional to mass. Now, if we use F is equals to ma, we sort of derive the equation for weight. W is equals to mg, where W is the weight, m is the mass, and the acceleration, which is gravity, is g. What this means, however, is that Whereas mass cannot be changed because you cannot change the number of matter that's inside of you, you can change the weight because you can change the gravitational acceleration. For example, if you're on Earth and you're at rest and you weigh 100 kilogram, then your weight would be 100 kilogram times 9.8 meters per second square which would be 980 newtons. However, if you're on the moon, it would be 160 newtons. And if you're on empty space, on a vacuum where there's no gravity, you'd be weightless because there would be no gravity. So zero times 100 is zero. So since weight is a force, it will always have to be included in a free body diagram which is a diagram on all the forces that is acting upon a body for like the force applied to it, friction, the weight force, and a normal force, which we're getting into. Now, if you use this definition of weight and you look at an example, you start to see a problem. Suppose you're an astronaut in the ISS. The ISS astronauts float in there. They don't feel their own weight. They're weightless. However, are they really? Think about it. The ISS is gravitationally linked to the Earth. It has a gravitational acceleration toward the Earth, even though it's in orbit around the Earth. Now, this would become clear once we get into Newton's law of universal gravitation, which, inshallah, will be in a future video. As for now, we know that the ISS has a gravitational acceleration toward the Earth. And the ISS obviously has a mass, and the astronauts have a mass. Therefore, it should have a specific weight. However, then why are the astronauts floating? Why aren't they, they just stuck to the ground on one side of the ISS like we are on the 10th floor, 20th floor, like that? Well, the answer can be shown by these analogies. Suppose you're on a bathroom scale or a weight machine at, inside an elevator. Now, you know that any, any action has an, an equal and opposite reactionary force. This means that you're exerting weight upon that scale, and that scale is exerting a force upon you. 
let's say that's the force of the scale. Now suppose that the elevator is going up, it's accelerating upward. This would mean that the force the scale is exerting on you must be greater for you to move up along with the elevator. So we could put this into an equation and we would get that the force of the scale would be equal to mass bracket A plus G, <coughs> which is the acceleration of the elevator plus gravity. Now suppose the elevator is going downward. This means that your weight must be greater than the force exerted by the bathroom scale for it to go down with you. That means that we can use it in this equation and get m in bracket g minus a for the force of the bathroom scale. Suppose suddenly the cable shut, the cable just gets cut. The elevator has no, nothing linked to it and it's falling. Are there any forces acting upon you? No. Are there any forces acting upon the bathroom scale? No, except for gravity. This means that they are in free fall. The elevator is going down at nine, minus 9.8 meters per second square. You are going down at minus 9.8 meters per second square. The bathroom scale is also going down at 9.8 meters per second square. Now, if you plug this value into the equation, you get m bracket g minus a. If you plug in gravity, you, you find that m is just g minus g, which naturally is zero. So the force you feel is zero. That means you don't feel your own weight. This analogy was also mentioned by Einstein, where he said one of his greatest thoughts was a man falling from a building, because that man would not feel his own weight. Now the same is the case for our earlier example about the ISS. The ISS is actually in free fall, and it doesn't crash into the earth because it's because of its high speed. Therefore, the astronauts don't really feel their own weight. So that is a detailed explanation about weight, mass, and all their differences. There is a lot more to cover, especially about the gravity, the gravitational aspect that we talk about throughout the video. For that, we need to cover Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation, which will be coming out in our next video. So stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching, and make sure to like the video and subscribe, and leave a comment for anything you have to say, or any confusions that you may have, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.